Hello and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer news. We start with Napoli defender Kalido Koulibaly. Of course, talking about these other disappointing reports. Chelsea are ready to hijack another Barcelona target in Kalido Koulibaly as the target the 31 year old defender. Of course, this comes after news yesterday by Fabrizio claiming how Chelsea have fully agreed terms with Leeds United over another Barca target, Rafinha. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about Memphis Depay, it has been reported that Barcelona has put their top scorer on the transfer market with a 20 million euro asking price. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barcelona's transfer plans seem to be falling apart as they have been dealt multiple blows over the past week. The Blaugrana saw Angel Di Maria decide to choose Juventus over them, Why fresh talks with Usman Dembele's agent did not lead anywhere. On Tuesday night, Barca learned that Chelsea were set to beat them to the capture of Leeds United superstar Rafinha. Now, Fabrizio Romano reports that Chelsea have the side set on another Barcelona target in the form of Napoli defender Khalidou Koulibaly. The Blues are already reviling the Blaugrana for the signing of Koundé from Sevilla. However, the update from Romano claims that Thomas Tuchel's side want to bring in two top defenders this summer and Koulibaly has been identified as a target along with several other players such as Mart Martich de Lech and Nathan Ake. The 31-year-old Koulibaly is entering the final year of his contract with Napoli and talks about an extension have not taken off as suspected. Barcelona have had their eyes on the Senegalese international for a while now, although Koundé remains a top priority. But a deal from the Frenchman is proving difficult to finalize, with Sevilla not budging on their demands. So, a player like Koulibaly who is vastly experienced and would not cause a bomb would could be a smart signing for Xavi and Andres' side. However, with Chelsea now entering the fray, things could get complicated for Barca. Barcelona are focusing their efforts on landing Robert Lewandowski from Bayern, but they need to step up their pursuit for other targets as well, or risking missing out on them all, you know, like it happened with Rafinha. I wonder when Barca are ever going to learn. You prioritize a player of 33 years old, and other younger targets that you have around you, 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 are, you are beginning to lose them one by one to other top European clubs. Where are we heading to? Where are we heading to? And worst of it all, as foolish as it may, it may look like, Barca want to even pay the 50 million euros that Bayern are asking according to latest reports for their third offer. We have look at Koulibaly getting the report from Fabrizio Romano himself, talking about a potential hijack again from Chelsea after what was reported yesterday about Rafinha, I think it will be so un unacceptable if Chelsea do that again. We are so good at talking, we are so good to make the rumors, we are so good to be linked, we are so good to be interested in the players. But when it comes to materialize that deal, do what is needed, Barca don't do it. And at the end of the day, we look like cowards, Barcelona look like cowards, they don't do it. It's not, it's not what it's supposed to be, that is not how Barca should be. Barca deserve more than that. We are not a small club, but it's just so disappointing that at this point in time, other top European dogs see Barca as a joke of a club, and they don't even scare. They don't even, nobody fears Barca again. We have lost our fear factor. We link with a player, easy to reject, easy to fail to land them. So if things go the way they are going, I very much doubt if we are. We are heading towards the right direction. I doubt if we will, we will get what we are looking for. Because definitely, I I don't think Xavi himself will be happy the way things have been. And Barca need to be, they need to be careful because ne definitely we know we don't have that financial muscle like other European clubs out there. And that's why it's easy for them to come late at any time and pick up our targets that we have been linked with for the longest time. Um, if Koulibaly's own situation 
is the same as that of Rafinha, then it's going to be very disappointing. Really disappointing. Even though Koulibaly is not our first option, we all know that. Jos Kounde is our first option. And ironically, Jos Kounde himself has been the top priority you know, at one point in time for Chelsea, even though they are still targeting him. And given the fact that what Fabrizio Romano said was Chelsea, they want two new top-class centre-backs. Jos Kounde and, uh, of course, Kalidou Koulibaly are in their radars. So possibly they can still go for two of them. Which means that will be a double blow for Barca, right? Because it will be like Barca's top priority and their alternative when it comes to centre-back have been stolen away from them. You know, so let's see what happens. Hopefully, you know, Barca get one of these players without the intervention again from Chelsea. So it's going to be interesting to see how the next couple of weeks will be like. Then on to the next story of discussion. Memphis Abai's future at Barcelona continues to remain uncertain as the summer transfer window in Spain looms. The 28-year-old has been with the Barcelona for a year now, having arrived on the Bosman deal last summer. Despite missing out on a chunk of matches in the early parts of 2022, the striker finished as Barca's joint top scorer with 13 goals in all competitions. The bar is believed to have made a solid impression on manager Javi Hernandez and his coaching staff, who are happy to meet him or I'm happy to keep him at the club. Sport reports that the club officials met with the Pies agent this past Monday and informed them the same. However, Barca also told the Dutchman's representative that the forward's role could re reduce if they sign their intended targets. Given the situation, Barcelona would be open of sell to selling the pie if a sizable offer arrived for the former Man United player. And as per the report, the La Liga heavyweights will seek a transfer fee of at least 20 million euros for him. The pie, for his part, intends to continue at Barcelona, no doubt, are both in a prominent role. If that is not an option, it, he would consider an exit if a club comes up with a lucrative contract offer, considering that he reduced his wages to move to Camp Nou last year. Furthermore, with this being a World Cup year, the 28-year-old wants to be a regular starter in the lineup, which might not be a possibility at Barcelona, leaving the door open for an exit. The Netherlands International has scouted interest from clubs in the Premier League and the Serie A, his contract with Barca expires in the summer of 2023. As iterated earlier, the Blaugrana are happy to retain his services but will study important offers if they come in. If there are no proposals in sight, Barcelona will look to extend his contract beyond 2023 to protect his value. Memphis Depay's future have been uncertain for the longest time. You know, there, there have been many conflicting reports about his future, of him staying or him leaving. But what is clear is that Barca are open to selling him if the right offer comes. That is, if the right offer comes. But Barca are also willing to... Barca, Barca have no problem for him staying, you know. But so far as the right offer comes, Barca are open to sell. We know Barca are so desperate for cash, right? So let's see how it goes. But if he stays, Barca will extend his contract so that they can protect his value so that he will not be a free agent next season. So with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.